Hello, everybody. I'm back. Justin Chamness here, realestatewholesellersclub.com. I'm back here today to talk to you about creating passive income for your life so that you can take a breath finally, so that you can relax maybe a little bit, enjoy life. You know, I think that's one of the worst parts of how society raised up at least my generation. You know, I'm Gen, I'm a Gen Xer. I'm kind of proud of that in a way. Um, <laughs> some of you might relate, uh, but nevertheless, I, I was kind of raised up to think like an employee and have to take orders, you know, and I, and I know we don't want to admit that, but, but we kind of, a lot of us, most of us, almost all of us have been taught that we just show up, clock in, do what the man says, and then clock out, leave, and he'll give us enough to get by. And that's a horrible place. And so I want you to do what I'm doing. Come along with me. Join me, if you will. And let's work on our adventure here of creating passive income, becoming a real estate millionaire, right? I've got a video out there that talks about this, the three stages of being a real estate millionaire. And that would be property millionaire, equity millionaire, and then cash money millionaire. So if, check that video out if you're interested in the pathway that I'm referring to here. But come along, join with me, and let's hop right in. I'm drowning in leads. I don't know if you're familiar with a video I made last week. I go live pretty much every day, several days a week at this same time. Thank you for watching. However, last week I did a video where I was talking about cracking the matrix or hacking the matrix and getting uh, leads from a new lead source. These are for rent by owners. But let me just share my inbox here. This is my email. All right, you can see I'm still getting leads even this morning at 9.13 a.m. I got one. Someone is offering to show me the property. Now, I've sent out a lease option type message looking for folks who would be flexible enough in the for rent by owner category to be open to a lease purchase 24 months. All right. So here, here we go. We're getting mess. I've sent out 90, by the way. And this was like last. Thursday, was it? I, I don't know. It, I, I think it was Thursday last week. Today is Monday. I sent out 90, and I'm still getting responses all through the weekend. I would say probably total about 50 total replies. I didn't count them up because they've kind of straggled straggled in, you know? <laughs> so um, here, here we are, though. This is what they look like. They come in. <laughs> to your email and there's no way to fix that and that sucks about rei reply you know i love rei reply but they're not an email service they're not an smtp or whatever that's called and so they don't you know they don't they don't do email i mean you can send email from their platform but it's a disguise for your actual email which is why you see these leads here in my actual Gmail, okay? I hope that makes sense. But here we are, this first one, you know, wanting me to come look at the property. Oh, well, look at the second one. Here's a signed agreement. Uh, notice this the, the, this stuff here. I'm going to check market. Prop stream. Five new properties in my little suburb where I live have been added this week, pre-probate, Okay. That means the benefic their beneficiaries, and this has not been probated out yet. Okay, that's nice, real nice. I you think I should? You think I should? Do, do you think I should? I think I should. I think I should reach out. All right, sixty four new properties have been added. Independents, tired landlords. Ty do you think I should? <laughs> do, do you think I should? All right. Four new properties have been added independent zombie property. Zombie property is a property in pre-foreclosure and it's been abandoned by the owner. If you can track them down, there's a, there's a number of different things you can do to make money here and cash flow every single month even. You think I should? You think I should reach out? 
PropStream. Four new properties have been added. Independence Bank owned. Okay. Fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Okay. So after that, we have, I'm going to slide down here, another signed agreement. I want you to notice. And then another signed agreement. And then more prop stream leads. 33 new properties have been added. Independence, that's my little suburb. Pre-foreclosure, notice of default. You think I should? <laughs> Do you think I should? I think I will. 129 new properties have been added. Independence, failed listings. Oh, big time. What about this one? Nine new properties have been added. Independence liens. What about this one? 102 new properties. Added independence, vacant, single family residence. Okay. I just got an email. It just popped in here. Melody, Justin is request. This is a, a lead reply. Okay. I don't know if it's good or bad. Let's just look. This is live on the spot. It's no longer available. Okay, I'm going to delete that one. And let's go back to where we were in the list. All right, here we are. We're starting in on these. Th those have been prop stream leads, okay? Those are prop stream. That's prop stream lists that I need to hit up. Mixed in there with some signed agreements. I want you to notice. All right, now look. KOA, Virginia, blah, blah, don't know. Good evening. Thank you for messaging us. It's, yes, let's talk it over. What is your phone number? Okay, I don't know. Maybe that's a realtor. Maybe it's not. But that that's a, a positive response to my outbound message regarding lease option. Would you consider a lease option, Mr. For Rent by Owner? All right. My objective is to go through several of these and just prove out with you right now what, what they are. Good, bad, ugly, and different. Personal cell phone. Oh, geez. Let's get off of that. All right. That guy is definitely serious. Okay. This here. Hello, Justin. I am home. Feel free to call me. Blah, blah. Wow. Charlie Robinson. Would you be the tenant or is this for someone else? That's a great question, Charlie. And I've got a great answer for you, and I'll show you what that answer is. That answer is right here on my script for my partner, virtual assistant, whoever it may be that I'm working with. The big answer, hey, Mr. Mr. For Rent by Owner, we're, me and my partner are landlord investors. We invest nationwide. It's not unusual for us, right here in the middle of the page, to be interested in a property in your area. We saw yours online. My partner wanted me to call you and ask you a few quick questions. Here's what we'd like to do. We want to put some good people in there that will buy the house after leasing it and we'll make a little money doing that. But we recognize that this first has to fit you. Is that a deal breaker? That would be what I would want to say to the question from the, the, the motivated seller lead, potentially. Would you be the tenant or is this for someone else? Okay. Let's go to the next one here. Uh, hello, thank you for your interest in the property. I am not considering at this time, but I will think about it and let you know. Uh, that's a bee lead if I ever heard one. All right, you would put that in your beehive. All right, put it in your beehive. What does that mean? Your follow-up list. Your follow-up list. That's the beehive. Whether you want you, you want your B leads. Those are not A leads, A quality. These are B quality. They cannot be closed today. You want to throw them in a beehive somewhere. Now, unfortunately, because the way REI replies set up for emails, you will have to do that manually. Oh, or you'll have to have an assistant do it. 
Okay, this one here. Let's take a look at the next one. Hello, Justin. Thanks for your inquiry. I can call you by 6 p.m. What is your phone number? All right. Let's see. The next one on the list was request JV on a property. I I, I JV with folks uh, nowadays if you've got something under contract, but if you're a student of mine, and this guy is, he's I'll make a call with him. I've got some kind of a deal going with him, too. He's got a deal signed in Ocala, Florida. If you've got a tenant buyer in Ocala, Florida, okay, let me know. All right. So here we go. Um, let's just continue on with the leads and we're just reviewing these. This one here says uh, to my lease option question, would you consider a lease option 24 months? Yes, we would be interested. What are you thinking? The next one here, um, he says, hello, Justin. Yes, we would consider discussing a 24 month lease Okay, he left off the word purchase, so I, I don't know. But the original question said lease purchase. All right, so well, that, that you tell me, is that worth following up with? At least by way of message, yes. Okay, and I'm going to want to pre-qualify these a little bit maybe with message before I hop on the phone. I'm open to a 24. Here's another one where the guy, and he's obviously a realtor. See, he's open to a lease. So I probably would not even mess with that one because he's he ignored the purchase and just went right on with trying to ram a 24-month lease down our throats a little. All right. So I probably would skip that one or delete that one. Um, let's see here. Is that this one? Uh, I, no, this is, the, this is the next one. I would consider a larger non-refundable deposit if not closed in 24 months and transaction written up through my realtor. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'm, that's, that's altogether possible. Okay. Um, all right. So, you know, all, all things are possible. That's not my favorite kind of deal. All right. Let's see what this one is. Hi, Justin, for more information, call blah, blah. Okay. That sounds like an automated message. Let's see. Uh, let's see the other ones here. Um, hi, Justin. I'm not sure if I want to do a lease purchase at this time. I co-purchased this home. 18-year-old son hopes to live in one day, blah, blah. We hope to make that work. This is what I would call a trash lead. All right. And I think that was, this is the next one. I can't on that house, but I have a few houses. Some of these you saw, a couple of these you saw the other day. For more information, call, I'm going to delete that one. All right. And you see down here a couple JV properties. Uh, these are contracts that Sean has signed. So first of all, let me say congratulations to... Rico, congratulations to Steven. Congratulations to Sean. You guys kicking butt. All right. Um, not only that, but we are making progress here with getting even more leads. Like we're, we're really like now we've kind of created a new lead source. And it's pretty spectacular, all right? Um, some of these are very aggressive. And you can tell that they're realtors or property managers that have snuck in somehow. Now, I've gotten this because I've chosen very particular filters with my scraper. I use scraping solutions. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with, with what tools I use, you can see what tools I use off my dirty hat here at realestatewholesalersclub.com. Definitely, you can go see what tools I use. And Scraping Solutions is one of those, all right? 
So I'm going to take a look here at something real quick and see if uh, if you guys have anything in the chat you want to throw in there. Go ahead. Okay. So that is getting, that is getting leads. That is just one, one aspect of getting leads. That is a, this is a relatively, it's not a new lead source, but to be able to automate it into your email inbox like that is a new thing for us. Okay. <laughs> All right. And there's reasons for that. All right. But, but here we are now with a new, a new way of going about things. Now I've got a particular way of scraping that I'm doing. I have some particular workflows and REI reply that I'm doing that I've built for this. And it's, it's pretty simple, but nevertheless, it, it is something I've had to do to get to what you're seeing here today. But really, the source of for rent by owners is not new. Not new. Okay, so if you were inclined to, you could easily begin without any tools whatsoever. If you wanted to find leads just like these, okay, all you would have to do is go to your computer and go to Craigslist. You go to Craigslist, you can find some city. I happen to be logged in here, evidently, in Spokane, Spokane, Spokane. You guys know what it is. Washington. Okay, so <laughs> here we are at just regular old Craigslist. Now, what I can do is, is I can come over here and click apartments and housing. That's gonna bring up apartments and housing for rent, all right? Now, what I can do is, is I can come down here in the, in the options and I can start spreading out, all right? Spreading out my location if I want. So let's go ahead and put in you know, 50 miles, I, I, that should include all the suburbs, I would hope. I don't know anything about Spokane, but I, I can tell you, I, I hope it is, uh, I, and I don't know the zip code, but if you did, you could do it that way. I'm going to go to the map and just back out of the map a little bit and choose that location there. Now I'm looking at properties that are for rent in a 107 mile radius of Spokane, it says. All right. I want to, um, I, I don't want to show duplicates. So they've switched this around. It's great. It used to, you had to click it. Now you're not clicking it. You slide down. Okay. You can select dogs and cats. Okay. If you prefer, I usually just leave it open. And then I come down here. I leave the, all the dates open to come down here to housing type. And I like to just choose house because this is going to get rid of uh, all the, um, all of the, um, what is it? Property managers, realtors that have apartments, condos, stuff like that. Stuff that's not what we're looking at right now. Houses. Okay, we are looking at houses now, all right? So you can see I've selected housing type, house, so I've eliminated all of the rest of that gobbledygook. I'm not getting raw land. I'm not, I'm not against raw land. I'm not against them, but, but right now I'm targeting down to a, a nice free list that I can start working my magic on because this is a season to target these pretty houses that cannot sell. So they've been listed on the for rent market. All right. Hopefully that makes sense to you. All right. So now that we're just about there, um, I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to just do an experiment. You can see it says there's 334 property listings here in the for rent by owner area, 107 mile radius of Spokane, Washington. Now, I wonder what happens if I come up here and just put by owner. Okay, you can see it brought it down to 52, all right? 
<clears throat> so if I want to do that, I can certainly do that. Now, I will tell you that you're going to have some successes, even with realtors nowadays, wanting to know about your lease purchase offer. But you can see there's a lot of houses here that are, uh, not all of them probably are truly by owner, but there are some good by owner properties here in this list. And these are all for rent. And you can see there's a good, decent pocket full of them. Of You can start working them. All right. How would you start working them? Well, you would click on it like this. You would scroll down. You would kind of take a look at it, get a little feel of what's going on. You could click on this and see if it's a realtor or if it's not a realtor or what's happening. It doesn't necessarily appear to be a realtor. When I clicked on show contact information, it actually shows us contact information. And then we have uh, on the listing, we have, you know, everything. It looks like we want to know about this property. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to hit reply. And then I'm going to send them my message. My message. And what is my message? My message is also easy and readily available for you to find over at realestatewholesalersclub.com, all right? And I'll show you where to locate some things that'll be very helpful for you over at realestatewholesalersclub.com. You'll see here on the screen, if you slide down and you click the first thing in the menu, free lease options, basic training, all right? There is some training. There is a video. There is some words. There's a, there's a documents package for you. There's an example deal. How do you ask the homeowner? Why would the homeowner say yes? Video. And then here we go. Mr. Homeowner. This is what you would say. Mr. Homeowner. And you could say this in an email. Absolutely. You send this in a text. Whichever way. But you're working through Craigslist. I'm telling you, this is the bootstrap way. Before automation came around, this is how Mr. Justin did things. And yes, then I hired a virtual assistant to do this because you can, you can basically automate it through outsourcing. Because it's the same thing every time. You get variations, go to chat GPT now, get variations of this question right here that all make the same sense. And then you have eight or 10 different variations. You're not even sending the same message every time. You're not going to get flagged by Craigslist. You're not going to get in trouble with Craigslist, nothing like that. You're not going to go to Craigslist jail. They're not going to throw you into the back of a Craigslist squad car. All right, Mr. Homeowner, would you allow us 24 months lease if we cover your monthly payment, handle all maintenance, and close, you might say, at your asking price as soon as possible or close the sale or close the purchase of the property ASAP. Love parts. Justin. With a smile. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's how you would do this if you're bootstrapping it. Easy right there from the beginning. But let me tell you, there's no reason to go about this alone. While you're at realestatewholesalersclub.com, just check us out because we do function a little bit like a club. But more than that, we are a cult. <laughs> more than that, we are a cult. And that's just what's up. A cult of money. <laughs> All right. So we are about making money. Now, that's not the focus of my life. Don't get me wrong. But we are a, we are a group, a culture of money. We are about making money. So if you want to be about making money, in the greatest time in all of history to be a pretty house guy, I believe. I'm confessing it. Yes, I am. Now is the time to get your toes in the water and then get your, 
your your ankles in the water and get your knees in the water. Just go ahead and get all in. Just go ahead and get all in. People are writing deals. They're not necessarily good deals right now. Okay. Not all of them. These are new newbies. Okay. Some of these deals ain't that good. Uh, but some of them are, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not even playing. All right. So newbies are writing deals. And some of them are really good. Now, why are some of them not so good? Because they're eager and they're zealous and they got a homeowner saying yes, and they're not that great at property analyzing yet. Okay. So anyway, um, I've been going for about 25 minutes now, maybe close to close to 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mind wanders and I get to thinking about other things. Hey, it's a mark of genius. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're out there doing something because I promise you, I do not want you to miss the bus. <laughs> if you're missing the bus, it's your fault because right now, hey, if you're waiting on a message from God, this is this is it. I'm telling you right now, it's time to pick it up. Pick up the weight. It's time to pick up the weight and carry it and put it over there. That's called work. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like it either. But it's a necessary thing for us here in this plane of existence. And it's never going to be over. So you might as well do it well, and you might as well make money at it. And you might as well be happy. And you might as well... Be fruitful in your life. All right? I love you a bunch, and I'll see you again tomorrow. We're going to talk more about something important. I don't know what. Love you. Real Estate Host